this is Midnight Ride. This is on page 29 in your lesson book. And let's go ahead and find our hand set up first. Notice we start on middle C in the left hand because it's in bass clef. So my left hand thumb is going to be on middle C. The very first note that I play in the right hand is going to be the note E, and I'm going to play that with finger two. Before I show you that hand setup, let's make sure that we notice that there are lots of slurs in this piece, so legato playing. Also, notice these little accent signs over certain notes. The accent simply means to play that one note just a little bit louder. We also have lots of dynamic markings, forte at the beginning, piano here, forte, piano. And finally, we have a time signature of three, four, which means we're gonna be counting this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Make sure you follow the direction of the notes as they are moving and always look for patterns. So if I take my left hand thumb and place it on middle C, and I'm just gonna line my fingers up one finger per key, just like that. Now, the first note that I have in the right hand is in measure four and it's finger two on the note E. So if I line my fingers up one finger per key, you'll see that this is my hand set up. So my left hand is in that middle C position. My right hand is up one key with my thumb on D and lined up this way, okay? So I start on middle C and I'm gonna move down like this. Then I'm gonna do it again, one more time. Then my left hand plays that E, okay? Now that is going to be line one and it's also going to be line three. Notice how they're exactly the same. So you just, if you can learn this one line, you've actually learned half the song. Let's take a look at it again. Moving on, when we get to square five or line two here, we play finger three in the right hand and notice we're just going to move down and then right back up. And then we do the same thing, but we do it softer. So this is F, E, D, E, and then soft F, E, D, E. Let's look at that. So my hands are here. Second line, I start with finger three. Now I do that again, but I do it softly this time. At square nine, it's just like the beginning. Square 13 is just like square five. But our last two measures are different. We're gonna play softly here and we're gonna use finger two in the left hand, which is the note B. We go up, back down, and then down again. So it will look like this. So the very last line of music will look like this. Now, if I try it from the beginning, the whole thing, it's going to look like this. And then eventually you want to pick it up till it's at a faster tempo like this.